Welcome back to the. <laughs> Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the pool. 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 Boom, 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 boom. Actually got to me. Oh, I'm gonna go out. We're going back to the five. That shit smells like. Point. I can't blow it out. Blood. Hey, He's just blood. Yes, the everlasting fire of Azoth. Ew. I mm, so much smoke you that. Don't do that. Unhealthy. <laughs> uh, it's Unhealthy. Tennessee, ten Tennessee whiskey. Ooh. Tennessee whiskey. Damn, this shit. It's where that's red. It should be brown. I need to turn my AC Bro, off. Bro's a smoker. A noise. How is this still going? It's the everlasting flame. <laughs> anyway, I got cancer now. Where am I Let's go. Hello, goons. Welcome back. Hello, goons minus one goon. We're I'm never all here. We all hate each other. Leave a comment if you can guess which goon is not here today. Habla Espanola. You're right. Habla. Habla. Correct. It's What's that goon. What's he trying to say? I like the word abla. Why? I know you do, buddy. Abla Inglés. Abla Porque. I like Enrique Inglés. Who? Enrique Inglés. Okay, isn't that? Who is that guy? Why does that sound familiar? Why does that sound like a little gay singer? He's a singer. He's gay. Is he gay? I think he's gay. He's got a little gay pecker. I feel like you. I feel like you might just be calling a guy gay that's not gay. Pecker? I mean, I've done that a lot. My life. Call people gay? gay I'm always slander? making up rumors about random celebrities. Yeah, you, you do that like a lot. Everyone gay. <laughs> I heard that guy fucked a horse. Every from, person um, you've ever met is a homosexual. Homer? Homosexual? I only, the only thing that gets me rock hard anymore is Homer's. I used to have a uh, Homer Simpson not slippers ass. where you oh, put your foot in his mouth. At all. <laughs> nah, nobody inquired That's whatsoever. Alright, cool. this has been the Goose Bugger. Alright, on follow on Spotify. Download. Thank God we're done. Drink gamer subs. Gamer subs. Yeah, use code, 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 code Goom. Gooms. Oh, dude. Oh. Get, get, I almost called it Gamer's Ashes. Grandpa's Ashes is coming out very soon. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. yeah me and uh, me and Soup, I believe. I don't think I, you guys aren't coming, right? No. Uh, me and I Soup would, but I are going move, to- Yeah, yeah, buddy, yeah, you got a Worst timing yeah. ever. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, you're like I that go, guy dude, I want to visit. Like, no, you know, you picked the worst time. I have to uh, bring a snail to the vet that day. You know, I just- I can't make it happen. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm fucking snail. I just all day, every day, I fuck snail. Blow their little pussy out, and then I gotta take them to the vet. It's so I dope. bet snails would just got a greasy, slimy little snatch. Mm. Oh, you don't have to bet, I know. Talking. I know for sure. I'd be big big sna snail pussy enthusiast. I fucked those big old Brazilian slugs. Use them like a flashlight. You fucked a Brazilian slugs? That's a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is I a quite, their little eyes when I'm fucking That is a, too. a notable amount of slug. Did you say you <laughs> fuck their little eyes? <laughs> no, I flick their little eyes when I'm fucking them. Oh, that's somehow not any no better. I can't see. I feel like that's <laughs> abuse, bro. I don't know if that would hold up in court at all. Imagine the going to court because you fucked a slug. What's a slug? Okay, I, I, <laughs> Put he him in was raped. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does a slug say? What does uh, the slug say? <laughs> juicy slug noises. And it's like, <laughs> ah! What? Why is it why he, why You're horny? You're pegging it. Oh, oh, I thought we were talking about the slug. Am I pegging it? <laughs> Am I doing that? You will be. That's really slide off. Sounds like a threat. Oh, they're going that's so cool. Now. Wow, you look like awesome. one of those people that like gets interviewed on the news who saw a crime go down. They don't want to give away their identity. <laughs> they turned your like voice down like yeah. twelve hundred cents. You look like you might have been responsible for a bombing in a city. 
Yeah, I saw him rape a slug. I saw him do it. I saw him rape a slug. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of slug sex happening lately in the Goons podcast. Not enough. Not enough That's true. happening. There's always room to fuck more slugs, you know? If you're listening, go peg a slug. <laughs> Never enough slugs. Unless you live in, like, one of those, like, weird little countries where they got, like, poisonous slugs. Like, somewhere in Indonesia or something. Don't be a bitch. Do it anyway. <laughs> fuck the slug. F go fuck a blue ring octopus. <laughs> Wait, those what, things are what pretty do cool. they do? Do they, ben uh, just, do uh, they kill they, you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben is actually a big enthusiast of, of Blue Ring yes. Octopus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, fuck the slug. Ben, sure. Uh, yeah, no, Blue Ring Octopus are, like, extremely deadly, and a lot of people don't know about them, so they just, like, pick them up and carry them around and shit, not knowing that they're holding, like, one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah. so go Nature's fuck scary. one of those. When's Nature the last time you wild. actually saw a slug in the wild? Uh... I feel like I haven't seen a slug in a rare. while. I see snails, but I can't remember last time I just Yeah, I see slug. snails all the time. I, there's always snails stuck to shit in my garden. I just gotta flick them off. Yeah. They'll be like, sucking on a leaf, and I'm like, hey, it's my, I, my fucking leaf. I feel like slugs are always, like, underground. Like, you pick up a big rock, and there's, like, slugs on it. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love, like, moving I a big this rock. Is, this is yeah, I know, this is like... like this like, grade, <laughs> grade three kids yeah, that have, like, a bunch of nine-year-olds. Dude, either, they're sure it's either in my adults, backyard and they're polies under the rock. adult special ed conversation or, like, a two-year-old conversation. Yeah. I love, I love so moving over a big rock. what you're saying is special no! ed people have the intelligence of No, they're just more they curious about the world still. That's it. I love I moving love over that. big rock Good and out. disturbing, Good like, take. a whole ecosystem. There's, yeah. like... There's like slugs yeah. and beetles and shit, and it's like a whole <laughs> metropolis, and I've just disturbed the whole thing, and I'm gone. My two favorite bands. I love slugs doing that. Beatles. Turn over imagine, every rock you see. Yeah, you're just going for walks, just kicking every rock over, just upsetting all the slugs and local fauna living under it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, the, the only the place I did that, the only place I did that in Arizona, I was trying to find scorpions. So every time we got to like a tee box when I was golfing, I'd, I'd use my driver and just flip all the rocks over and shit, trying to find one. Couldn't really find one. Found a uh, found a big ass spider though. I don't know what he was about. Um, he didn't seem like he wanted to talk. He was kind of out of there. On account that you destroyed his entire home and his I didn't destroy it. I literally moved a rock half an inch. You can move back in. Shut up, spider. You moved him uh, like the equivalent of eight human miles to the west. <laughs> That's not so bad. Eight miles. <laughs> yeah. How much? How many do you run a day? Three, four, something yeah, like that. See, that's like two runs a day for But him. that's only He'll halfway to Spider's house, though. That's a lot more. <laughs> that's two days. He'll be all right. He's having fun. Bro, you know what you should do? You should put a slug on your tea and just whack that bitch and disintegrate a, oh, it. Oh, man. See what that it would get all over you, though. Dude, I... I oh, probably. A slug's big enough. Uh, one time I actually hit a bee. A bee landed on my ball, and I saw it on my downswing. By by that point, it was just too late. Oh. And it, dude, my ball—you could literally see the ball flying in the air. Weird, like it had so much spin because there was just like a splattered carcass all over the ball. <laughs> and I got up to it, and it was just like green mush just smeared oh. the side of my ball. I felt so bad for the little fella. I I hate killing bees, but I mean, you know, he shouldn't have flown on the big white ball. I like ripping their wings off with tweezers. De-winging the bees. Yeah. It's I like must deworm my floor. I must de-wing. Hey, that hasn't been out yet. Don't leak that joke yet. That did go out, didn't it? Yeah, that was on the last podcast. Yeah, that was the last podcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I oh, remember literally a worm on the thumbnail. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I thought that was from our seed session we just did. No, Maybe. because I remember no. I went on uh, went on Reddit and uh, yeah, there was there was people people. That's right. People saying yeah, people uh, saying uh, hey. How do I deworm my floor? And, and then <laughs> I just saw, I saw a couple that were that, and then I just saw like, cause I was sorting by new, and then I just saw like fifteen that were just removed by moderator. No, <laughs> so I imagine those are also the slug. They're never gonna get their answer though. They're, how do I de slug my deworm my floor? I don't know. Prick moderator, prick. That's what prick. I'm saying. Yeah, an R slash interior design. How do I deworm my house and floors? <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I get uh, our cancer confused, and it's a different session, different time. Yeah, we have a lot are. of boo boo cancer. Yeah. Yeah, there have been times uh, where we have like remade a joke on the podcast, and then the joke got released on the podcast first before we made, before the video version got released. So I believe did. that. Yeah. What was that? What was say your tick? Do you have a tick? Oh no! Why uh, did you just say suck a dick? <laughs> 
the uh, the you know that sound on your iPhone when you're you're you get a uh, DM like on Twitter. Did it in? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah I just. <laughs> I just said suck a dick because I got one. I don't know. Don't worry about oh, oh, you were huh. singing along to it. Yeah, I do that shit too. Do you ever yeah, associate just, like a, a, a saying with like a, a tone like eat a big asshole? Like for like yeah. the, the yeah, DM? Yeah. yeah, okay. That's all, uh, yeah, I, all the time. Taking a dump. Taking a dump with like a drum drum roll. Taking a dump. Taking a dump. Taking a dump. Okay, dump. this guy gets it. This guy gets it. There you go. <laughs> Taking a dump. Don't unhear that now. To what? Oh. Taking a dump. Taking it up, taking it up. Oh no, it's just do, 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 do. taking it up. But I learned that from a drummer, so like this is autistic as shit. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> it is very. Yeah. It was it was cool when I said it, but now it sounds retarded. Taking it up, taking it up. <laughs> All right, understood. Hmm. You guys think that fight between Elon and 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 Mark Zuckerberg is actually gonna happen? I don't, bro. Zuck been calling him out. Zuck yeah. been, he actually Zuck's fights. been flaming him. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna be honest. He he is not somebody I'd fuck with. He like he, he trains eyes. with some big boy. Yeah, I mean that too. Yeah. But he trains he's with some like too. yeah motherfuckers that know what they're doing. And yeah, he's he's getting pretty pretty jacked these days. Don't know if yeah. I'd fuck with the old Zuck. No. Plus he's got that lizard strength too. And you have to. Take I that also into feel account. like he just like Lizzo. doesn't understand human emotion. Oh, lizard! I think he said Lizzo. Not Lizzo. No, <laughs> we've had enough Lizzo chat. No more Lizzo. Yeah, I like you called but, us uh, chat. <laughs> fat. No, I said no more Lizzo oh, oh, chat. No like we're Lizzo not talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fucking donkey. Yeah, lizard strength, Ew. and he actually does like some kind of like Brazilian like jujitsu or some shit. Yeah. So he actually knows what he's doing. I also just feel like he has no emotions, so like. When when Elon's on the ground like crying after getting his ass beat to shit, Mark's gonna be on top of him, just feeding him still, just giving it to him. Cause I, I feel like there's no moderating emotion for him. That's like nah, this is a human. Yeah. I should stop killing him now. I feel like once you extort enough people and make enough billions of dollars, you can't. You're an emotionless husk. You know. I yeah. Like that kind of goes hand in hand. <laughs> Aren't they pretty far apart in age too? What? I don't know. Probably. Isn't I don't Elon know. Musk and his fucking. Like fifties and and Mark Zuckerberg like, sucks. No, sucks like in sucks his 30s? No spring 40. chicken. He's not in his thirties. Yeah, but I feel like no they're way. at least like fifteen years apart. 40. Let's 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 find out. Elon Musk age. I feel like he's at least fifty two. Right? Told you, knew it. I'm not Mark Zuckerman. He's got to be like 37, 38. 39. Fuck. <laughs> about ten I'm years good. apart. I'm okay, good. I'm good. So that's not that bad. I mean, it's more weight class that matters, which is. Uh, Zuck weighs less, but it's it's yeah, but fifty twos. That's I mean, there's a uh, there's definitely a difference between fifty two and fucking thirty nine. Elon's getting dropped. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, regardless, even if they were the same age, like to, bro, look at a shirtless picture of Elon, a shirtless picture of Zuck. Like, yeah. It's not. There's no. It's no surprise who's winning that one. Yeah. Like, like Elon yeah, looks like he eats Cheez Its for dinner, and Zuckerberg looks like he eats raw fucking beef tallow yeah. for dinner. Well, did you see what what uh? Fucking Elon tweeted or X, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Um, where he's like, Oh, I don't have time to actually train, so I've just been bringing weights to work. It's like, bro, one guy is in the gym punching <laughs> shit for six hours and you're yeah, carrying really. around a little 2.5 pound weight like you're on a little white girl walk. You're getting your ass yeah. beat. Like, you're, you're getting it, like, murdered. <laughs> I think Elon was under the impression that Zuck would not, like, actually take it serious and, and oh, then no, he was Zuck's just kind of like. Unfit and kind of you know just like nerdy typical, and then you see pictures of yeah him working out with like a six foot eight. He's been waiting just for this Amazonian bro. man. I feel like he's been jacked for a while. He's been training for this. He's just waiting you know for we, some rich CEO. You know what to we call should do though? We should also have because now that uh now that Jeff Bezos is on TRT, he's looking pretty jacked these days too. True. So so you could have I think the ultimate shootout would be that guy who's fifty but spends two million dollars a year to look. Like maybe forty nine. Oh yeah, the young that guy. guy. We need him. We need uh, Jeff Bezos. We need Zuck, and we need Elon. Just a big old douchebag rich guy fight. Just watch them all go to town like cage match style. Tap each other in and just start murdering each other. You know? Yeah. That would be sweet. Who's this other guy you're talking about? Young you ever guy? seen this guy? He he did a will or he did a video with I think it was Will Tennyson uh, that did a video with him. That's how I found out about him. Um, like but will. he's like, yeah, Will's great. But uh, yeah, he's like. I don't Doesn't know, he get 40? blood transfusions with his son or yeah, something? Yeah, he just got a blood what? transfusion from his he son so he could be younger. Um, but yeah, this guy literally spends like $2 million a year to try to reverse his aging. Um, 
Which he still somehow looks old. I don't get it. Yeah, if you look at him, he lo- <laughs> he looks exactly he looks like, like a, his age. He just looks, he looks like a smooth fit. old guy. Yeah, he just looks like he's fit. Like he takes care of his body, which he does. Yeah. But it's like. I don't know if I'm like a gym membership is not two million dollars a year. Just just wear sunscreen and go to the gym, and you can save two million dollars a year. That's my life life tip. You know what's weird about him too? Like out of all the money he spends, it doesn't really seem like he spends money on his hairline. Like I feel like that's what really makes you young. If you have like a true close yeah. to your eyebrow hairline, like that'll make you close look to your eyebrow. Like really? <laughs> no, I mean like, like a watch. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like closer like, to your eyebrows. Right I now. like it can, to connect with my eyebrow. <laughs> my whole head's unibrow. <laughs> it's like, like you were, I like to have a wool cap from the top of my head down. Oh, You're that's printed so on bulk I don't look useful as shit. Have whole head of hair. Actually, whole head. <laughs> so fucking funny. What a way to describe that. I just meant like closer to your eyebrows, not like. Go to a hair. Go to like close. a Bosley and tell them to draw the line on your freaking yeah. eyebrows. <laughs> Connect it to my brows. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, that's so funny. Um. What yeah, was yeah, that guy, like, yeah, no, yeah. I don't know why he doesn't touch his hairline. I agree with that. Yeah. Two million he's super, on like blood. his skin looks super smooth and stuff, but he's just like, it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just it looks like, like a smooth. Photoshop. I feel like smooth, smooth skin is not enough to be like, wow, that guy's young. Uh, uh let me find yeah. his name. Hold on. I feel like I know who you're talking about, but I also have no idea who you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, his name is. Guy who spent. He just gets memed on a lot. Spend money to look young. Did somebody just fart? I, I could. Do you want me to? <laughs> sure. Fart three? Wait, we just talked Bruno, about this. I'm cutting Bruno back. Wazlib, his name, uh, his name is Rulin. Brian Johnson. Isn't that the guy from ACDC? Brian, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Angus <laughs> Young. Uh, that's also the old closing picture for the Giants. Brian Johnson Brian brought up the ACDC, yes. Brian Johnson. <laughs> yeah, fuck he that said, the, 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 dude, the video is this <laughs> man spends millions to look 18 again. <laughs> this guy is not 18. Nobody is, nobody is IDing this creature. You know what's weird is I, I feel like having an older look, like a lot of people are attracted to that. Like, why would you not want to, like... I, I mean... Well, I'm I mean, to me, like... Probably, <laughs> He's pretty hard trying okay, to attract buddy? like 18 year olds. I touched my nose one time. Well, th- no, I got the allergies. <laughs> I, it's so weird. He does it to his son, too, which kind of like oh. sucks. Yeah. Like when your son doesn't son, really have I a choice but to, but to like grow up into that. No, he like makes his son do all the same shit that he does. Oh, really? Oh. Uh. Yeah, so his son's just kind of like whether he wants to or not, he has to look 12 forever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Just, just, just wear sunscreen and work out. It's that easy. You don't need to. You don't need to do all that. All right. Yeah. Keep your keep your skin youthful. Moisturize. Wear sunscreen. Um, and then uh, make sure you eat well and, and and you know, go to the gym. There you go. Saved you two nah. mil. Enjoy. Yeah, Spend that on uh, crack. I ain't seen this dude before. I see what you're saying though. Yeah. Did, yeah. I guess it did. It show his age there. 45. When you Googled him? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, guess his age. Let's see how youthful he looks. <laughs> I would you have guessed, guessed? I would have guessed probably 30s, late 30s. Okay, so it only takes $2 million a year to shave five years off how <laughs> right. you look. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, I don't know. Weird, weird guy. <sighs> but you know what? It makes him happy anyway. Mm. Sorry, I had to do that. Oh, I'm did you just have to? Understood. <clears throat> yeah, I had to. Okay. Yeah, you know what he should be doing? He should be siphoning the blood of a Chinese woman because they they look like they're twelve until they're like ninety. No, but what's weird? Like a thousand years I was old. gonna say what's weird yeah. about Asians is like the way they age. They look like they're twenty <laughs> until yeah. they're like eighty, and then they Especially look two hundred and fifty. <laughs> right. like, like Koreans like always just stay young. It's yeah, like, like you mom, think they just your mom goes to bed one night at eighty five and she wakes up seven thousand years old. The next yeah, day. just like she's like an like oracle. And she's <laughs> like and like and something shit. that was found in like an underground rubble of a of a castle. All right, like King like just Tut's a mu- corpse. Yeah, just, just a, yeah I, don't, I don't know how that happens. I don't know, but I mean, that is I, very I, true though. Well, they look very young for no reason. They I mean, I'm sure that. there's got to be some sort of reason. Did you know, know Koreans don't uh, have body odor or they don't have. Uh, I don't think everyone has true. body over. They don't have bo. But everyone has body odor. Well, no, no, no. So there's a there's like a I genetic thing happen. with the evolution that happened with like Koreans that they literally do not like. They don't have body odor. That's okay. I don't believe that. 
Google it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I have trouble believing I, that. Yeah, it, dude, it you sounds, Google it. I'm playing Forza. It sounds, it sounds <laughs> unbelievable. It sounds ridiculous, but there's literally like a genetic mutation over the span of like, you know, thousands and thousands of years that Koreans have just like. So you're telling me if you're just a stinky guy, move to Korea and then you're, you're good. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, no, it's that's only, what you're saying. Yep. It's Koreans. Koreans don't have body odor. I don't know if it's body odor or if they just don't have like stinky armpits. It's well, that's the same thing. I, I, so I'm sure, I'm I mean, sure I don't know, dude. Like, if you send a Korean into the trenches and have him fight in the war for four months and then smell his little nuts, there is a zero percent chance those don't rank. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's armpit stink. Like they don't wear deodorant. Okay. Like, well, like, if, like if an uncut than... Korean dude got dick cheese, you're gonna tell me yeah. that smells like nothing. Yeah, no, nah, you're gonna smell the dick cheese. You're gonna smell. The I dick think it's. Cheese. I think it's definitely like. Like, their body doesn't produce the bacteria under, under their armpits that, like, other people do. So they don't okay. like, need to wear deodorant. Alright, well, I'm never going to South Korea, because I fucking did you think. Did you Google it? Me? No. Yeah, I thought you were fact-checking them. Oh, oh, I can. Uh, do Koreans right, yeah, I'm stink? Playing, I'm, playing, I'm playing Forza, so that's <laughs> on you today. <laughs> the most broad question. Are Koreans Almost, smelly? Oh, it actually Korea came up. Stink. While only 2% of Europeans lack the genes for smelly armpits, most East Asians and almost all Koreans lack the gene. Oh, yeah. East Asians, okay. So that's, well, East you. Asia is like... Korea, man. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Wow. I mean, no, that's a broad thing to just say East Asia. Probably also helps out they're hairless, too. They yeah. They have a lot of body hair. Yeah, they're like those little hairless cats walking around. Yeah. Bunch of those little fellas. Bunch of those funny little guys. <sighs> What's, uh, what's another word? Almost all Asians have uh, sleep apnea, though, so that's their trade-off. Really? Yeah, that's something I learned from my doctor. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if it's something to do with, like, I think it's, it's something to do with, like, the way, like, genetically their, their nasal cavities are. Mm. Um, but yeah. It's yeah, interesting. Most, uh, every race has, like, buffs and nerfs. Everyone's yeah, literally. Plus and minus I know every stuff. special ed uh, male is really into John Cena. It's like a... <laughs> you think that was, like... Like, genetically it's coded evolution. before John Cena was there. Like, yeah. he finally came and it was like Prophet Muhammad coming down from the <laughs> sky for, to like, them. their Jeeva <laughs> <laughs> oh, They that's... can't even see him. That's unfortunate. What that do you mean they can't them. see him? Oh, yeah. No, that's... Okay, yeah. That's a meme. Yeah, that's it. A... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um... The fuck were we just talking about in it? Drinking the blood of your soul. Oh, yeah, That's no, the, uh, there's, uh, I forget what tribe they are. But it's mostly the woman, for whatever reason, in this tribe. But, bro, they are so fucking bouncy. They, like, jump, and they'll just use, like, the balls of their feet to bounce. And they can get, like, like, fucking five feet of height. Whoa. It's oh, actually they ridiculous. The there the was, like, talking there's, about their titties. No, yeah, there's, like, <laughs> there's a video, um... I, I, bouncing, I just imagine big old titties just bouncing. It's a up YouTuber that posted it actually. I can't remember who it was, but yeah, he's I like. He... <laughs> I don't know who that is. But uh, he's just going. <laughs> he's he's, <laughs> he's like, it's a real guy. <laughs> okay. Um, but there's a. Okay. Uh, uh, so distracting. But yeah, he uh, he just travels around and he was he was in this African village and talked to them and then they, they were they bouncy. Started jumping. Five feet it's, off the air. Oh, it's just, they started jumping the entire it's height probably, of the dew off of the I was going to say, it's probably, it's probably not actually five feet. Like, I imagine it's a little less, but it, uh, regardless, it was like, it was enough where you were like, holy shit, really? Like, it, it was, it was substantial. Where they're they, just bouncing. They're not even, like, going down, letting their knees bend. They literally just boing. It's, it's wild. Do they yeah, use I don't this know. skill I, for anything, or do they just be jumping? I don't know, maybe if, like, a fruit's, like, slightly higher up than they want it to be. <laughs> Hold on, let me find. How do I how do I look this up? Do I just Google bouncy Africans? Bouncy tits. <laughs> look up bouncy tits and report your findings. Buoyancy of African and white males. Hold on, what's this now? They ain't sinking. Wait, what? Rawr. 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 Yeah, that's Rawr. a big ah. What's going on, dude? Um. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is the most pointless article I've ever read. Mm -hmm. There is a, a medical journal uh, going over the buoyancy of uh, African black Africans. and European white males. 
And they had uh, they had 13 black people and 13 white guys, and they put them in the bottom of the pool and timed how long it took them to come up. It was the same. <laughs> we're, we're, this is what we're funding. Does your skin color affect whether you sink or not? <laughs> this is what we're sending money to. African I, I pride almost said something curly. extremely racist. But I'm, oh no, that's I'm unlike gonna, you. I'm just gonna not do that. Remind me after the podcast, I'll say it. No. <laughs> High jumping African. Dude, now do I'm with getting racist. A lack of ability to swim for some people. Oh, there we go. Kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah, but not what, not in the way you would think. Is it the Maasai? Is this them? Is this the, the bouncy people? <clears throat> Messias. Hold on, this might be the bouncy guys. I want to see bounce. No, this ain't the video I saw. Holy fuck. Okay, this one's pretty crazy. They're getting like three feet. This isn't the video I saw, but this one's pretty wild. This is a look at them. They're just bouncing. They don't even bend their knees. They're just bouncy. Oh, hold on. Oh, look at this guy. What's it? Whoa! I feel like I've seen that before. They yeah, don't even bend their knees. Jumping. It's just, they literally just use, like, their fucking... It's all ankle strength. Foot, yeah. But, uh, that's, that's not crazy. the one I saw. The one I saw, they were jumping to, like... I don't know. I, it was well over waist height on moon? this guy. Yeah, to the moon. They were going to the moon. But it was pretty cool. But, yeah, that's a general idea of what happened. They are just bouncy. But, I don't know, there's, uh... It is, it is interesting how many, like, slight genetic differences cause weird side effects. Yeah. Of, uh, of humans. Evolution, baby. <clears throat> Evolution. Yeah. I feel like we as, you know, people in like a very developed nation don't really get the chance to fully like develop these like yeah, some other developed nations. Everything that happens here is just like comforting. Engineering yeah. way to All get over. All we develop it. just makes life yeah, easier. Literally. For us, yeah, literally. It's yeah, so some of them are like crazy like the tribe that runs like oh, I don't want I don't want to misquote the amount, but it's like a ridiculous amount per day and they their heels do not touch the ground when they run. Um yeah, that's crazy. Tiptoe uh, runners. Basically, yeah. Evolution, yeah. evolution well, only really happens to run, when we need it. Yeah. The Tara- the Tarahumara. <laughs> Never heard of them. Let's That's see, how far That's a crazy good run? name. I like that name. Sounds like a 90s band. Uh... So they just be running. They just be running. The Forrest Gump tribe. Is this them? Is this a Tarahumara? I can't figure it out. This is a really long fucking Tara thing. Tarahumara. I don't know if that's them. Is that oh yeah, the Tarahumara. Yeah, it is. They're indigenous people. Oh, they're from Mexico. That's pretty hot. Yeah. Did they, did they Who would have thought? Uh, let's see. Hold on. I want to find out how far these motherfuckers are on. Do they pussy? Probably pussy. They probably pussy a little bit. Yo, I want to join that African, like, dick stretching tribe. Bro, yeah, they run. Oh my god. No, there's no way. They run eight hours a day up to 320 fuck? kilometers. That's there's the whole no day. way. Kilo no, beaches? hold on, hold on. This this has to be capped. There's Ain't zero no way. way. For why though? <laughs> like, what are they? What are they training for? A 250 long, 250 kilometer stage race is practically <laughs> I like a how dawdle. Your case is just coming off your phone while you're doing I'm, this. I'm moving it off with my finger. Oh. <laughs> I like, I like, I like ripping it off. What I do hate they those wear? Case. They turn all gross and yellow after like a month. Yeah. Uh, they wear nothing. Okay. Cool. They don't compete in races. So they're just they're just dick flopping in the wind when they run. I think they wear like clothes. It's, it was talking about shoe wear. They're, okay, there's no way this is the correct number. There's zero percent chance that they run fucking three hundred kilometers a day. That would be some distance at least. That's two hundred miles. Damn. There's zero percent chance you could run two hundred miles in a day. Well, I don't let's know. do I, the math. Uh, a, a light jog is about six miles an hour. Okay, but they're like running. Those motherfuckers run. Okay. So maybe nine miles an hour. Yeah, I'd say, like, let's move it up to nine. Uh, Isn't then, the fastest guy in the world, like, 21 miles an hour or something like that? So you'd have to Same run, bolt. like, at least 20, 20 hours. No, that, is, they're, yeah. they're, that means they're yeah, running at, like, no 14 way. miles an hour. Yeah, there's zero percent chance. That's, like, yeah, that, that are, full yeah. out, like, dick to the metal, like, all <laughs> yeah. the way down. There's zero way they're doing, like, a full sprint for 20 hours in a row. Yeah, no, that, that article is probably, like, incorrect in that number for sure. But regardless, those motherfuckers would be running. I'm sure somebody in the comments knows of an article or knows the fact off the top of their head of how far those fuckers. Or if you're from the tribe and you run that much, let us know. Yeah, if you're a Mexican guy running very far with your dick out, please leave a comment. <laughs> but no one else comment. <laughs> Zero comments on this video. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to lose them, so nobody else say anything. <laughs> <laughs> we want to make sure buried. we see <laughs> <laughs>
That's crazy uh, though, bro. Yeah. I can't like I feel like I run a lot and I only run like three or four miles a day and I'm like, alright, that's a, yeah. that's good. That's enough. I mean that's 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 <laughs> you know? that's a sizable amount of running. <clears throat> Let alone, like, my whole day, my whole existence. Wake up, run, go bed. Wake up, <laughs> Wake run, up. go but bed. But the problem is, do you, like, do they have a house that's, like, 300 miles away? Or do they just, like... True, where are they going? To, did they run half Long of a circle. continent and then come back? <laughs> like, what is the vibe? They've seen everything. They've seen the whole <laughs> planet. Maybe they only do that when they find out that their wife is pregnant. <laughs> run 200 miles in a day? For? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I fucking hate about America? Why? I hate that we don't use the metric system. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, the metric system would be so what is much fucking easier, dude. One, I will say, uh, I think that Fahrenheit is better than Celsius. Uh, yeah. But I think yeah. kilometers an hour is like two million times better than oh, miles yeah. an hour. Miles an hour is fucking stupid. Yeah, everything's no. divisible by ten. It's so much easier. Why I do you can't, mean no? I can't picture one kilometer in my mind, but one, one mi well... Dude, imagine, imagine this. I guess a <laughs> can you is, picture a mile? <laughs> I guess a mile is like 5,213 Yeah, some random fucking number. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, just makes no sense. Well, yeah. Imagine being able to just divide everything by ten. Like, everything is, like, like basic bodies? just zero. <laughs> yeah. And put them in my divide, With a knife. Divide them by ten. I'm divide your neighbor's that. cat by ten. <laughs> no, I, I get that it makes sense. It's just uh, America and and those hippies are not gonna give us metrics. It's not happening. No. Not happening. Ooh, what hippies? Metric hippies. <laughs> Metric hippies. Hate them. Right. Sounds like something a crackhead would tell the police he got robbed uh. by. <laughs> the metric hippies took my money. Sorry. What are you so somebody just fall. <laughs> so boring talking about meter. What's a meter? <laughs> hey meter. <laughs> Meter oh, Griffin. Meter. <laughs> meter Griffin. He's just super short. Yeah. I think yeah, a meter kilometer is, is better. I think it's three foot. So it'd be three <laughs> foot. Three foot Peta. I hate that there's kilometers, but also mileometers on my car the at the same time. The fuck is a mileometer? Mile and kilometer. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah my car does it the, sometimes yeah, too. It's on the, it, well, it's on the inside of the tax, so you have your like main. So your cars are U.S. cars, so. If you have an analog tack, it'll just say kilometers on the inside. Yeah, but it's useless information. No cop's ever been like, sir, you were going 47 kilometers. I'm like, I don't know what that means. That's pretty slow. I don't that's know slow. what that yeah, means. that's very slow. I think, think like that's 40 miles per hour is like 90 kilometers per hour or something. I don't know. My street is 50 kilometers an hour for context, so that's <laughs> That slow. sounds fast to me. Nope. 50. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool. Smaller than a mile. I do like, I do like, uh... Like, Canadian spec car is better because the speedo on, like, fun cars goes up to, like, 360 kilometers an hour. As Damn. opposed to the U.S., it's, like, 210 or something boring. Yeah. You know, it's not as big as a number. So you're like, yeah, I went I went 290 versus saying I went 170 or 160. I just don't understand why is. they couldn't, like... Like, I, I know that, the like, the U.S. is obviously a lot bigger than Europe. Like, you know, you can drive through France in, like, 45 minutes. Not so quite, it makes but sense, yeah. like, a... <laughs> a kilometer, it's like, like smaller. Of a, of a yeah, country. so it's a lot smaller. So, Lost. but U.S. is like, you ever see that picture where it's like Texas over Europe, and Texas yeah, is like three like quarters of Europe, the size of like fucking it's mm -hmm. Belgium and Germany stacked inside of each other. Yeah, it's yeah. So yeah. It, it makes sense like miles over kilometer because like to, if you had to drive across the country, you'd be like, oh Who yeah, the I have fuck to drive is driving across and, the country. Well, I'm just every, I'm, I'm like just using once it as a week example. where they need that. Okay. So let's say I'm driving from Canada California. Canada is even to... bigger, and we ah! use fucking kilometers. Your logic is stupid. Can you're dumb. We, you're dumb. We are, like, objectively a larger country. You know what? Canada invalid. America valid. Fuck you. <laughs> well, we own Alaska pussy, so take some off. Of I changed country. my mind about the metric system. Fuck the metric system. I don't think Mario, anybody wants go. Alaska. Kilometers, you guys can keep Alaska. Ounces. Pounds. <laughs> stones. Meat. How much is a stone? Blood. Guns. <laughs> Jesus. Pussy. We have most of those things too. No. Mm. Less Jesus and like by a numerical standpoint, less pussy. That is true. <laughs> we got that frog you got moose pussy, pussy up there. You do have a little bit of moose pussy. Moose we don't pussy. have frog dude, it we you know we have the same weather, right? Like you got that frost pussy no. up there. Dude, what temperature is it for you right now? Get, uh, what temperature is it roughly for you? Eighty four? Yep. Alright, what well, let's see. I just know that you're in the permafrost all the time. Okay, it's 79. 
like I said, so you got that ice pussy up there. But is that Celsius, <laughs> love? Is it actually like 10 million degrees? I don't know what the fuck it is. 79 so Celsius is unlivable. So <laughs> yeah. I like, I use... I used Fahrenheit um, yeah. because I lived so close to the border. So, like, growing up, all I watched was, like, Detroit news. Um, so I got, like, U.S. shit. Uh, so all the weather in the morning before school and stuff was all in Fahrenheit. But a thing a lot of Canadians do is use Fahrenheit in the summer and then Celsius in the winter for some reason. I don't know about that one. That sounds <laughs> I mean, confusion. It's really not that confusing. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I just stick with Fahrenheit because I know that 100 is hot and 0 is cold. Yeah. How tall is a Farron? Kill yourself. <laughs> oh, 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 what is oh, Farron's oh, oh, height? I need to go Farron's sell ass. some Sears. Kill yourself. Sears? I got robbed, by the way. Forgot oh, to tell you guys. Oh, yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. Who got robbed? What happened? Yeah, I got robbed. Um, So I was in Montreal with a bunch of uh, IRL friends and uh, Smitty as well. And... We, I think it was like day two, we were there for five days. Day two, we went out for dinner, and I had my bag with me, um, because I was keeping a bunch of people's sunglasses and shit, so I was like, alright, I normally don't like to bring a bag out when I, like, don't know the area, because I don't want to get robbed. But, uh, I brought it out, because everyone wanted to bring their sunglasses, I was like, alright, I'll be that guy. Um, so we went out for dinner, and I put my bag, like, basically like a chair like this, I put my bag here, and it was touching my arm. Um, so I was like, no, there's no way somebody grabs it without me noticing. Like, I can literally feel it. I'd feel them rummaging, whatever. Um, so I was, I was, I was pretty confident I'd be fine there. And I sat down, and I was there for about 10 minutes. And then the manager of the restaurant walks by, and he's like, hey, just heads up, I wouldn't keep your bag there. We've had problems in the past with people stealing bags. And I was like, okay, sweet, I appreciate that, thank you. And then as I was, uh, putting my bag over on the other side, I looked inside, and I was like, where the fuck's my wallet? Uh oh. I was like, oh man. I was like, I maybe I left it at the Airbnb. So we somebody, I think it was Smitty that paid my bill for me, whatever. Um, and I went and I was like, hey, I think my wallet just got stolen. Like, talk to the manager. And I was like, can you check the cameras? He's like, I'm gonna be honest with you. If they took your wallet, they're out of here. And I was like, yeah, I figured that, but you know, I figured I'd ask just in case. And he's like, yeah, no, I just don't have time. So I was like, all right, well, I don't actually know if it's stolen, so I'm not gonna panic yet. Uh, so I got in an Uber and went back to the Airbnb, and as I'm sitting in the Uber, I got a text from my bank that said, We noticed suspicious activity. Did you spend 3900 at Apple? And I was like, Damn! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> he wasted was like, no time. I was like, oh man. So I cancelled it right then and there. Um, which it didn't Did take too long. Did they reimburse you for that? Uh, not yet. So, that was on my business card. So I was like, uh. oh fuck, what else did they do? So I called the bank. And they're like, okay, well, let's go over your transactions. And then I sat down for dinner at 6.45. And they're like, at, uh, I think it was 7.03 was the first one. Did you get coffee? And I was like, no. Is that the first transaction? They're like, yeah, this is the first transaction. I was like, okay, anything after 6.45 is not me. So they went and got coffee. That was the first thing I did. And the coffee, dude, the cojones on this person. The coffee place that they went to is literally across the street in view from where I was sitting. Damn. Oh my god. Ballsy. Yeah. Ballsy. So bitch. they went and got they went and got coffee. Um, and once he said where, I, I got in an Uber back, uh, Smitty and I did. The rest of our friends went to like a comedy club or something. I don't know, apparently Montreal's good comedy clubs. I wouldn't know. I didn't get to go. But uh so I, uh, somebody got an Uber with me, and we went back to where that coffee place is, because I was like, alright, hopefully now that my cards are cancelled, they just, like, ditched my wallet. Um, so we're just following this trail. I'm on the, like, I'm on the phone with the bank. They're like, okay, yeah, so they started at, uh, a coffee place, then they went to Urban Outfitters, and spent $156 there, probably just to make sure, like, the cards were working. Um, and then once, once that was it, they, they were, they were free reigns. Like, once they knew my business card was working, um... That's when they just started going to fucking town. But, uh, they went to Adidas and spent over a thousand dollars on two different bills. Uh, they went back in. I guess they weren't satisfied with their first thousand dollar one. So they went back in, spent over a thousand more. And then, Damn. uh, right after... I think right after, be sus anybody how, how much time Adidas, did they have to do all this? They had 27 minutes. Oh my god. Holy yeah, they yeah. were shit. fucking Speed running sprinting, yeah. yeah, literally. Like, and then, uh... I feel like if I'm an Adidas employee... And somebody comes in and spends a grand, leaves so, and comes back in and spends a grand. I'd be like, "What? What is this? What is happening?" So here? yeah, so I'll ex I'll explain that after. Oh okay. Um. So, yeah, we were following them and saw where it was, whatever. 
Didn't end up finding him. And I was like, ah, fuck it, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna let this, like, ruin my night. My cards are locked. It is what it is. Um, I'll just get, you know, new cards, new IDs, new whatever. Not a big deal. Um, I mean, Smitty were walking to meet up back with our friends. And we walked by the- they did this all, by the way, like, they finished doing, uh, everything, like, right before stores closed. Um, like, some- a lot of stores were, like, they technically closed at 8, but they were closing at, like, 7.30 and shit. Um, just cause, you know, if it's not busy, they're just gonna close up. So, Adidas, uh, closed pretty fucking early. Um, so, like, they were the last customer of the day. So, I- when we were walking by, I was like, ah, maybe there's still somebody there. And we walked by Apple, everyone was gone there, I was like, ah, fuck, whatever. Um, then we walked by Adidas, and there was this guy sitting outside. And he didn't have an Adidas shirt on or anything, he was just sitting outside. But for some reason, I was like, this guy gives me Adidas vibes. So I was just like, do you, do you work at Adidas by any chance? He's like, yeah, I do, why? And I was like, oh, what the fuck, no way. Um, and I was like, did, uh, did somebody come in here? No idea what they look like, no idea age, anything about them. Did somebody come in here and spend $2,000 in, like, five minutes? And he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, and I was no. like, <laughs> he immediately knew that I was like, yeah, that shit's stolen. But, uh, he's like, listen, I can't give you too much info, but my manager is actually coming to let me back in, because I forgot my, uh, I forgot my wallet in there. Um... <laughs> so okay. he's coming. Yeah. yeah, so he's coming to Bad let me back in. Bad day for wallets, I guess. <laughs> Bad day to be a wallet. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's like, yeah, I'm, he's coming to let me back in. So I was like, okay, I'll talk to his manager. Uh, let's talk to him. He's like, oh man, I had a fucking feeling about them. And he's like, dude, it was a mom and two kids though, so I was like, there's no way that they're stealing and stuff. What? And like, they tried, so the one card wouldn't work. And he was like, I was suspicious, but we've also been having trouble with our card readers, so I, I chalked it up to that, because I was like, there's no way a mom and two kids are stealing right now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that was, a that was, that was that. Uh, he say, he said he's gonna get the cameras and shit, but yeah, a mom and her two kids went in, and apparently they bought a bunch of shit, and she came back in, she's like, oh, I forgot to get stuff for my other son or something like that. She was just some stupid excuse, but he was like, I don't know, whatever. I forgot um, to get my other getting, child $1,000 getting, of like, shoes. You're getting paid basically minimum wage. You're not really gonna- Sure. Who the fuck cares? Like, yeah. <laughs> not my problem. Um, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, I didn't blame him or anything. He, like, felt super bad, and he's like, dude, I'm so sorry, whatever. It's just like- like, how do you know that? And then if you accuse this person of stealing, like, that's a whole nother thing, like, especially Profiling, with- Profiling, yeah. Yeah, like, especially with, you know, how things are going and stuff. Um, so I was like, yeah, no, I, like, I- I think you did the right thing. Like, yeah. I, I wouldn't have said a word about it, there's no way you could have known, whatever, whatever. Um, so then I went to go file a police report, and... I didn't want to. Here's the thing, like, I'm annoyed, obviously, people that steal, especially from, like, another person, uh, really suck. Like, it's one thing to steal from, like, fucking Walmart. I don't give a shit. Steal 10 grand from yeah. Walmart. I'm- I, I'm gonna watch you walk out of there with a flat screen that you didn't pay for, and I'm gonna laugh. Like, I'm yeah. not saying a word. But, like, to steal from, like, an individual kind of fucking sucks. Uh, especially because you don't know what position that person is in. Um, yeah. like, if- that- like, if, you know, I was not in the position I am, that could have been fucking brutal for me. Because, like, yeah. even if the you bank gives been, you your like, money- saving up you could have been saving up ten grand for the past ten years. Yeah, to pay and for like, like just trying to buy a car something or something. Yeah, that could yeah. have been that could have been my rent money. Like, because yeah. you know, yeah. even if you get reimbursed, it's not. It is at least a month before you're getting reimbursed. Yeah. So like six, that kind of money. six grand is a lot of fucking money to just not have for a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. Um, so I didn't I didn't really want to file police support because it's like, at the end of the day, it's a mom like buying shit for their kids, um, and I I think obviously that's a horrible mom. In terms of like setting a standard for your kids and stuff, yes. but also like, also imagine how horrible those kids' lives are going to be if their mom is like in jail because it becomes uh, over five thousand dollars. I forget what the charge is. I don't know shit about you know stealing. Obviously, you go to jail. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's like over five thousand. It's like yeah, shit, or... like a substantial, substantially bigger charge than just under. So like, if she was yeah. smart, she should have spent four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, and then this would have been all over. Um, but because they spent nearly six grand, they. Uh, they're actually like fully investigating and shit, and Damn. I don't know. I, I asked if they could like be as lenient as possible if they do find her, because it's just like I don't know, man. That it that's not gonna solve anything. Like this person is you just clearly want your mentally ill. Back, yeah, like right. I literally just wanted my ID back. Like keep my fucking cards, whatever. I don't care. I'm getting that money back. It means nothing. Keep the laptop. Keep the shoes. Don't take it away from the kids. Um, but also it was just like, though, damn, my fucking wallet being gone is ass. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, no, your though, information she'll... is just out there. 
Yeah, she'll probably do this more and eventually will end up again. She'll regardless. do it again. Yeah, yeah. she'll absolutely like somebody doing that is like clearly mentally ill. Like yeah. it was a nicer restaurant, too. So I don't even think that they're like, you know, struggling in life. Like it yeah. was not a cheap restaurant. Well, they probably stole somebody else's wallet to be able to pay for that restaurant. Yeah, right. paid for the yeah. restaurant. Or she goes <laughs> or and they... orders a water and then tries to like yeah. find people yeah. that eats the bread, sitting around. Eats the free bread and leaves. Yeah. yeah, but uh, all of it was on camera. The uh, I didn't get to see any of the footage yet. Uh, the, the store manager called me uh, pretty recently, but where we were sitting, there was literally a camera about three feet from me, just pointed right at me, because oh, we were really? sitting by the bathrooms. Um, so, like, there's just a camera pointed towards, like, the in and out of the bathroom. Um, and, yeah, like, literally, you, you said we could see everything. Like, we saw who did it, we saw how she did it, whatever, whatever. Um, and they actually, honestly, low-key, kind of smart. So, like, we don't for sure know if this is when it happened. This was like me and Smitty speculating. So the whole time the bag was touching my arm. But for some reason, this trip was just cursed. Every dinner we went out to, we spilled an entire glass of water. Like freshly filled glass of water. There was not a single dinner uh, we went to where we did somehow didn't do that. Really? So Sight's curse. I don't dude, it literally <laughs> has like I don't know. I like maybe spill a water like once every two years. And then this trip, I probably spill like three. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Uh -huh. But uh, my friend Ben spilled water. Right. And we all stood up to like <laughs> move it. Yeah, we always do that. And you always like, yes. Just like the gap when you like Bro. stop talking. Just Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a tick. You can't say the word Ben. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, during all the, the chaos of us moving to like avoid water spilling on us, we think that's when they snagged it. Because that was the only time where my bag wasn't touching me. So they probably saw the oh, chaos. Oh, yeah. Saw everything happen and just went yoink. Because my bag yeah. was zipped up too. So, oh, like, they had shit, to unzip so. it and grab that shit, yeah. It makes yeah. you think, so, how long were they watching you? How long were they eyeing you? Time, probably you know? a while. I mean, if they have that shit, like, somebody who thinks like that, like, somebody who's, like, willing to steal, obviously, is gonna be paying attention to who to steal from. Um, so, yeah. Damn. But, if uh, she was, like, never, a dumb stealer, she would just run up and take the bag and sprint off yeah, the restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't do that. There's also, well, there's, like, security at that restaurant, too, because it's such a popular, like, area in, like, downtown Montreal. Um, so they had security, so if somebody was just sprinting out holding a bag while two other people chased him, I think security's gonna wonder what's <laughs> happening there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, they did me. it without me even noticing. They just... gone. Bitch had that sleight of hand perk. She yeah, the perk, absolutely. Bro. Yeah, I've but, had that uh, happen to me a couple times in high school, but they just steal, like, a fucking pencil or a notebook or something stupid. I'll just, yeah. like, go to class and notice my bag is just completely wide open and missing shit. I'm like, dude. Yeah, I think the thing about that that would piss me off wouldn't really be the money, but it's like shit. It's I gotta go get my driver's license again. I gotta go get yeah. my yep. whatever my my casino card worst, done again. The worst like, is the Nexus. Like it's a essentially a Nexus lets you. It's called the trusted traveler thing, um, and essentially it lets you travel anywhere in like North America extremely efficient. Like you get to skip the line. Like I don't know if you know what Clear is, but it's like that, but not being a scam, and you don't have to pay for it. And it's like government uh, no, I've never made. Heard that. But um. Yeah, because I live on, like, a border city, it's just, I can get to the U.S. a lot quicker. But getting that yeah. is such a fucking hassle. Like, it's really? going to be, like, a seven or eight month wait just for that card. So, that's oh, the one I was most annoyed about. Close. I was like, bro, even Damn. keep my license. Like, I just have to, I already got those. Those took, like, 20 minutes to get back. I literally just had to apply for it online. Yeah. Um, and then pay $38 or something. So, it's like, that was fine. But, like, yeah, just give me the Nexus back. The rest I didn't even care about. So, that's why we went and looked and hoped that they just dumped my uh, cards. Yeah. Or, like... We were hoping because it was a it was a nice wallet. It was a YSL wallet, so I was hoping that at least like maybe they <sighs> took the wallet and sold it, and then they like just threw all the cards. But we couldn't find any cards or anything, so they probably just kept it all. You know Damn. what you need to get that I have that works super well? A wallet that has an air tag pocket in it. Um. Yeah. If I, I mean, if I leave I just, my wallet, like, the thing is, it's like how often is this ever gonna happen ever again? It's it's just a preventative measure. It's probably yeah. never gonna happen to me, but. Especially because I don't fucking go anywhere. I also, to be 100% honest with you, like, in a big city where somebody would be down to steal a wallet, I don't know if I'm tracking that down. Because if this person, if this is a desperate person, like, if they're worried about going to jail, they're going to, they're going to try to fight you off. And they're going to try to run. That's why you also buy a gun. So, okay, well, uh, we can't just carry guns in Canada. That's why you get a license like to carry. Wick. Just hunt that bitch down. Yeah, I'm not going to murder somebody <laughs> over $6,000. slow motion, like, dive over the freaking doorway of the store they're at and just... Yeah. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Somebody that desperate, I'm not, I'm not fucking with. Oh. So. 
That is yeah, it kind of sucked, but honestly, on the bright side, I got the rest of my trip paid for by Smitty, so low-key, might lose my wallet every time we go on a trip together. True, and you get to make money telling the story on the Goons podcast. Exactly, I just true, got to re-monetize yeah, it. Let's go. So, no yeah. money lost, we're good. But, uh, the, I think the worst part about it, so like, I had photos, I literally now just we gotta do a Ridge wallet sponsor. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Even but, easier uh, to get stolen. If you want the bears, yeah. we will promote. Yeah. Yeah, no That's no Ridge thing. wallet unless you give me money. Anyway, um, the worst part <laughs> was I went to my bank, and I was like, hey, I just got fucking robbed. Can I get a new access card? And I had the, the police report. I had photos of my ID, because luckily I just had to take photos of my ID, like very recently to send some shit off for the goon stuff. Uh -huh. Um... So I had photos of my passport, I had photos of my license, I had my social insurance number, which is the same as your, uh, uh, what's it called there? Social, social security. security. Social security, yeah. So yeah. same thing, except Canadian. Um, had photos of all that, had my banking, like my app open with my name and account number and shit. And I was like, can I get a new debit card? I'm in Montreal for three more days, and I have no way to spend money. And they're like, well, we don't know it's you, we can't confirm that without physical ID. So the best we can give you is two hundred dollars. So that kind of like made <laughs> me more like annoyed. Stars that made me that made me more annoyed <laughs> because it's like, okay, so you're telling me you don't trust that I'm me, but also you're telling me that you're about to give this person two hundred dollars that you don't really believe is me. What the fuck is it? Do you believe this is me or <laughs> yeah. do you not believe this is me? Uh, he's just, you just like give this I can't to any do random it. person. Yeah, Hi, yeah like I'm, somebody... I'm Bob Smith. Trust yeah, me, like, giving two hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, like you walk into a bank and you're like, yeah, I am Blarg. And they and then they go. Oh, I don't think you're blarg, but here's two hundred dollars just in case you're blarg. <laughs> like what? Are you How fucking to scam kidding me? all banks everywhere, <laughs> dude? I was like, I was I was kind of heated. Like I didn't actually get mad because it's just like I get it. They have their you know, they they just can't give out money and access cards yeah. to certain things. But I get also, it. It's not their fault. But also like, steak. bro, what the fuck? So I was a little annoyed by that. And then my biggest fear was I wouldn't even be able to get home because I was flying home and you need physical ID to fly home. Ooh, so I was yeah. just like, uh, my friend that lives in Montreal was like, oh yeah, no, last time I tried to fly back home uh, uh, without physical ID because I lost mine. They said no. So I was like, oh fuck. Like if I get stuck in Montreal, I have no way to pay for a hotel. I have no way to rent a car because I don't have my license with me. I have no way to like Bro. get a anything. So I was just fucked. So we had to go to the uh, airport early, and I told this guy what happened. He was, like, pretty skeptical at first, and then I had to show him the police report, and he had to make a bunch of phone calls and shit, and he's like, okay, we can at least get you to Toronto, uh, but if you get home from there, that's, like, that's up to them. So I literally just had to, like, go through checkpoints Damn. of getting home, but luckily, you know, here I am, so we're good. But yeah, I didn't it fucking even think sucked. about that, how you could just yeah. get stranded, because, like, your whole identity's gone, essentially. Yeah, literally, yeah. I have no way to prove that's that I'm scary. me, other than being, like, I am me. And the bank didn't trust that, but then they trusted it a little bit because they gave me two hundred dollars. So I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that. it was it was kind of doo doo ass. Yeah, go to the bank, give them give them my name, and just say that you're you, and take two hundred dollars. I'm Blarg. I'm Blarg. Me Blarg. Give me two hundred dollars. Hey, about about about. Here's two hundred bucks. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but that wasn't wasn't the wasn't the best experience. But honestly, it didn't really ruin my trip. I feel like That's I don't good. know that shit happens, and I've I've. Like, if all the ba out of all the bad things that could happen to me, I feel like that's a pretty okay one, and, you know, some kid out there now has a new MacBook, so it's a win for everybody, I suppose. See, this is why I'm always telling you guys all the time, you know I say this all the time, keep your wallet in your colon, because no one can get it there. <laughs> well, the first thing, uh, when I got on the boat uh, to go from, like, um, where we were staying to Rome, the first thing they said when you're on the boat is, like, Keep your wallet sideways in your pant front pant pocket. Mm. If you keep it vertical, they will steal it. True. Yeah. Like, that dude, makes sense. You how big those, of a uh... problem is that where you need to tell people how to keep their wallet sideways? Like, that's but, fucked but, up. But you're also you ever... letting all of the pickpocketers know that they need to adapt their strat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to start running around with, like, exacto knives and cutting them out of the square of your jeans. <laughs> you look down, there's a hole in your pants. Your balls are <laughs> like, oh, Your damn wallet's it. gone. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least one plus point is your balls are hanging out. That is true. Your balls are getting air fresh. So... <laughs> Have you seen those TikToks of the, no. of like the pickpocketer? It's like a woman. I don't know. I think there's like a whole group and it's like, they're like, attention, pickpocketa. And it's, and then the oh. people start running away. It's like a group of people who record themselves like catching pickpocketers in the, in the act. 
Oh, and then oh, they just that sounds cool, say actually. out loud. It's like Italian, I think. And they say out loud, "Attenzione, a pickpocket!" And then, and then it's the t- like they start running away, like the pickpocketers. That's wild. Yeah. And it's very yeah. That's, that's kind of sick. I feel like they're they're doing it. They're doing yeah, their so, civic duty. Uh, so apparently, because of that, and that group is so fucking popular, they've like reduced the pickpocket crime in that country Holy or in shit. that city what the like fuck 50 percent yeah it's fucking crazy they're like the That's batman insane. of pickpocket crime yeah, yeah. it's like literally like a vigilante Rogue. like tiktok account yeah <laughs> they're the batman of minor inconveniences <laughs> right yeah we don't fight crazy. like domestic terrorists like the joker or anything but <laughs> no, you know. we like say hey don't keep, don't take that guy's money that's not yours swipe or no swiping yeah. is about the best we can do yeah <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, swiping, no swiping, yeah. Attenzione, swiper, no swiping! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Whoa, uh, it's dang just, it. <laughs> it's so funny watching the videos, because they're like, it's like uh, one or two people standing in a crowd, and then when they start saying that, everybody's like looking at them and shit, and they just have to start like, they put, they'll put like their hood over their head and like walk away in shame or run away or whatever. It's just, That's so know, it's funny. Really funny. They're like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, like, oh, pretty shucks. Much, yeah. like, come on. Fucking stomp away all sad. Like, God, yeah, God, it's like Italian dang, Dora. It. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. freaking gosh. And just head out of there. I hate it when I shit myself in public and someone draws attention to it. <laughs> That's your <laughs> name, <laughs> poop diaper. A shit guy, oh, a shit I put guy. My, I put my diaper over my head yeah. and I walk away. What the fuck are you holding, Bar? You look like a butt plug. What was that? My Xbox controller it almost fell off my desk. Oh, what? Anything's a butt plug if you're brave enough. Huh. Yeah, you could probably put it in your little ass. Yeah. Your tight little man it's got ass. A little your corner. little sexy little ass. You uh, fucking big old smelly little hole. Uh, I'm sorry. When are you guys going to start playing Black Ops 2 with me? I, I. Literally never. I. I. I oh, sorry. Please, I need to play Black Ops 2. I need to find Ekbok and James Charles. I need to find James Charles Ekbok. James Charles Ekbok. James Charles. James Charles Ekbok. I think it's in. That closet over there, but I need to go find it. I need to walk four paces that way. <laughs> that's a lot of paces, really, if you think about it. That's like, that's going to cut out of the miles per day that you're hitting. Yeah, I'll have to t- cut my run short. Is that the Xbox that you bought specifically so we could play Warface, like, three years ago? Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember that. I had to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, I forgot about that. It's unlocked a yeah. memory. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we all had to buy Xboxes. Buy just to Xboxes, play. Yeah. yeah. I had like I had an Xbox One, but it was literally like full of just dust bunnies. Yeah, Xbox not even bunnies. Ass, they man. were like dust buffaloes in there. <laughs> dust buffaloes. They're sentient. <laughs> I just for some reason it made me think of just like a ball of dust covered in buffalo sauce. I'd eat oh. that. That sounds good. Fried Dipping dust. Ranch. A low calorie. Yeah. Fried Zero dust. Zero from the buffalo. I love like to see. buffalo what do you think sauce. The macros so good. is of a piece of dust, like just like a wad of dust from your PC fan. What are I feel macros? like the yeah. only thing would be like it's very airy. Maybe maybe carbs and like a tiny bit of protein if it's like hair, because hair is like oh. yeah. protein. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Yeah, yeah it's gotta be pro- something. How much protein if you ate a whole head of hair? Hmm. That's a good Google search. How many calories, dude? Maybe we should make protein. Remember we searched protein. Hair. How much protein and cum, and it was like. One percent of it, just as much as a diet coke. Oh, no, it was yeah. calories. Yeah, calories. Was how, how much calories are in cum, and it's comparable to a diet coke for some reason. Yeah. Really? <laughs> that's yeah. an old clip. Yeah, that's, that's when we split with Kugo. Yeah, that was like hmm. pre. That was pre, pre like. Yeah, yeah. Pre goons, pre shameless, pre anything. Like I, yeah, was like pre cum. One of the first fucking siege sessions we ever had. <clears throat> I don't even remember what year we started playing games together. 1980. I think it was late 2017. I mean, yeah, I guess I would kind of check out because I quit. Well, I had my editing job until 2019. I don't remember the, it's hard to remember with you because, like, when I first started playing Siege, it was because of Kugo. Kugo invited me with to uh, invited me, introduced beep, boop, me beep, to boop. do. Yeah. And then for a while, we didn't play with Soup for very long, or you. Yeah, and I mean, I was a full, I was a full time editor for a long fucking time. Like, I didn't do YouTube till 2019. Like, or I did you too, obviously. I wasn't full-time until October 2019. So, like, the uh, end of it. Yeah. yeah, we didn't start playing until we started playing with Grizzly, and then I got, Grizzly invited, yeah. invited you. I got, well, Grizzly Jay, was I think, my friend. Jay, Jay got yeah. me into Siege. Jay and Kugo. Yeah. And, uh, and like, yeah, Jay is what got me into it as well. Jay, Tuxi. I used to play with Jay, Tuxi, Grizzly, and Durgi. No, Tuxi, not Tuxi. Oh, no, Tuxbird no, Tuxi for me. Tuxi. Tuxbird was one of them. Yeah, well, the same. So, yeah I played well, you yeah, know what I miss so much about those old siege days is Emeroid. like it was it wasn't um, like we didn't have to we didn't plan sessions we just randomly were just like 
hey, I'm getting on siege right now. Who wants to join me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like a kind of the same with thing. a bunch of people. You just kind of hop in yeah. a chat, and people be like, "Hey, you yeah, you just go on one of the one of the calls." Yeah, yeah. And then the goons yeah, happened, I, and now my life. Now we're like, um, now we're like next, uh, next Wednesday at two forty-five p.m. Yeah, it's almost like we're organized now because it's our career versus just going on and playing games when we need to. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, I like. I, I wish we a could somehow. System. It is, but I I wish we could still maintain like like best of both worlds type thing. Like back when it was literally just like it was just gaming, just a game, and then funny moments happen. Yeah. Versus now, like. I mean, I feel like I, a, still I still do a do decent amount people. of that. Yeah. Same. Like no. whenever I game, like I'll just like game with a uh, spoon. Or I forget you play a lot I'll of just, games too by I'll yourself. Just, I'll just or like run a uh, uh, fucking replay buffer the whole time. You know. Yeah. Funny same. moments can happen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I feel like for me, which is kind of depressing, Sorry. but I feel like the like being a YouTuber kind of made games less interesting to play. I I mean I feel I, I, I feel the disagree. same way about like multiplayer games. Well, like I okay, love I mean, story games more than ever, but I, yeah. I I don't know. I still love playing games with my friends. To be honest, like I yeah, I, have I, the I most genuinely fun love you guys. Yeah. I, I love working. Like I I yeah, me too. Get so stoked to record ninety percent of the time. Yeah, yeah. I I, I don't like. FPS is that much uh, anymore. I used to play those like for fun and be like, I, I get off yeah, work. Same. God, I got to get on cut and like get get headshots, mm -hmm. get gold camos. But like now it's more like I want to play Baldur's Gate or something, you know. Are you yeah. playing that right now? I was thinking about getting into it. Yeah, so I haven't was I. started it yet, but it we looks should all play together. You can be nude. You can have your cock mm -hmm. and taters out. Mm -hmm. Did you know we that there's all start four that dicks and two vaginas you could pick from? Well, you can, you can play like yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, you can start a story together. Well, sounds like yeah, the goons should maybe yeah, should do it. Just D and D style game. Yeah. Have you guys ever played D and D? Yeah. No. Uh, a f bunch of I'm like friends. I'm almost face revealing myself by like leaning over so much. Just do it, pussy. Yeah, just get it out of the way. Imagine hiding your face, pussy. Oh. 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 Bill of the hat. Bill of the hat. Out of the bill. Why'd we you make the this square we so small see... and then be like, got... oh, I'm accidentally face revealing? Yeah. We got to see uncensored wide McNasty the other day. That was fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> when you scary. stretch raise your, stretch like stretch your monitor. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a good time. What were we gonna say about memes and shit a second ago? Somebody started to say Baldur's something. Gate. Baldur's gay? Mm -hmm. Hell mm -hmm. if I know, bro. <laughs> I think I'll always like video games. I know some people grow out of them, they're like, oh I'm old now. Like it's kinda how my brother was. He kinda like grew up and was like, Yeah, I don't really I'm just not interested anymore. Can't be it's me. Good. I feel like the older I get, the more I like them, because they're, like, this nice, calm, nostalgic, yet exciting and, like, always changing, yeah. you know, thing in your life, where it's just, like, you can never run out of video games. Like, anybody who says all games suck now is a fucking moron, in my opinion. Like, there are so many good yeah. games. Just because you keep choosing to play fucking Call of Duty and the fucking FIFA every year doesn't mean all new games yep. suck. Yes, those True. ones suck ass. But, like, there are so many interesting, good games always coming out. It's yep. like just because you of Call of Duty, I'm yeah, excited like, for the new one. Oh, uh, see, there's one of them. Here we Listen, go. Don't be like that guy. Don't <laughs> editor, fall for the cycle. <laughs> editor, cut to McNasty I know, I know, talking I know. about how bad the COD is. I know. Yeah. It's it's it's. It, I, I understand it because for the last like six Call of Duty, except for the exception of 2019, that one was fun. 2019 like, was the, the best COD ever. Uh, IMO. Uh, yeah, but it's just like oh. there's so much they're leaking about the new Modern Warfare and like there's gonna be so many like remastered of the Modern Warfare too. It's it, like it literally feels like it's gonna be. A remastered version of 20, 2009 Modern Warfare 2. I know it's obviously yeah. going to be a little bit different, but yeah. Well, when that comes out and it's good, I'll be happy. And yeah, then, that's what I'm saying. Like until I'm, then, my name is not Holden. I have a little bit of again. excitement, but I'm not just like, oh, I can't fucking wait to play it. Yeah, but I am excited for. I don't know. I, I feel like even if a even if they're even if it was just a completely random new COD that they're making, I'd still have a little mm. bit of excitement because it's always a new game to play. I know? think I think for you could tell. Week. Like how shitty COD is that they relaunch their servers and their old games get hundreds of thousands of players because people oh, I are like, I this is when COD was actually fun, so now yeah. I'll play COD. Yeah, I think that's why they're doing so much with the Modern Warfare Three of trying to make it feel old, it's because they're seeing the success of like. But then again, like the old games are fun, but there's a reason those aren't the style of game anymore. They're kind of like we have been fed too many games. Our brains are just fucking destroyed from being so much dopamine all the time like you cannot if you launched black ops 2 today 
it would get fucking horrible reception. I don't care what anyone says. I don't, I don't think care it anyone's would. Like, I personally, it, I don't think it would. It would be like every other fucking game that comes out like that, where everybody's obsessed with it for like a month, and they're like, oh my god, it's like back to roots, it's so nostalgic, it's perfect, and then you're like, oh yeah, I remember why I don't play these old games, because it's the same fucking thing. Once you get all the guns, and you get your fucking skins, you just sit here and put your finger in your ass unless you're trying to be a COD pro. Like, those games are fun, don't get me wrong, they were a product of their time, they were amazing for their time, and like, I, I look back very favorably on all those CODs, but like, the reality is they're just not as good as like most modern games. They need I to find I, some I think, kind of I element think of both because I, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like the way COD is now. I like the goofy off skins, like but Nicki Minaj. I feel like every game's gonna be Fortnite now. Oh yeah, no, those, the skins are fucking dumb. Like that's dumb as shit. Like they could take inspo from the old games on that sense. Yeah. Of like, may yeah, skins are cool, but like maybe let's keep them like remotely. You know, I don't realistic. Know. I, I, I feel like I can't a have a thing, good opinion because I don't play COD anymore, but it just looks goofy as an outsider to me. Yeah, yeah it does. A, a big thing, too, is, like, um, it like I feel like modern co CODs, ever since, like, 2019 COD, has just been just a bastion of the sweatiest people on the internet. That's like, there, yeah, things, like left there, were a lot of, there were a lot of good old COD players, like, back in the day, but now it's, like, everyone and their mom is trying to be the next fucking... I don't know, phase fart head or whatever. And it's just not like it just just play the game and have fun. Like, Bro, do you not remember MW2? Like were you not alive during that? Yeah, no, like, no, no, everything I'm saying was, there was 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 grenade launchers, one man army, RPGs, and fucking mother yuckers with their intervention eating Doritos yes, and I, I remember like yeah, do you yes. not remember that? That that wasn't fun. Like but, Modern but Warfare just, 2 at the end of its lifespan was one of the worst first person shooters of all time. It was fucking horrendous towards the end. Once everyone found out the exploits. It was literally, you'd go in a game, you'd get fucking nuked by some asshole's Harrier, and then he'd have a nuke. It just is literally be the stupidest fucking game in the world. Like, the end era of MW2 was yeah, horrible. Yeah, do that now. Yeah, that's not a fun game. That's not better than a modern game that has things that avoid exploits. Like, like even I, fucking... I don't know. Every, every game had me. that. More fun. Dumbass. <laughs> Stupid ass piece of shit. Yeah, I don't know. You I guys disagree. tell me I'm like a dumbass all the time, and then when Retard. I say a dumbass thing, you're fucking dumbass. shocked. And I'm really Come on. Idiot. I can't Come on. believe that. Come on. You are. Yeah, so I don't. Dumb. I love the old cods. Uh, they are. They are very, very fun. But they are not better than most modern games. I don't agree I with you. Um, That's fair. I don't know. I've, I haven't played the old cods enough to run the nostalgia out. Because I would still rather yeah. pick up Black Ops Two than any modern cod. But. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it could hold my attention forever. No. But then again, I don't really like COD anymore, so. That's yeah. I've been hard playing to... the fucking tits out of Black. Dude, dude, you got to get back. That's so fun. I'll do it. I'll it's do so, it. It's so fun knowing that there's just like hundreds of thousands of other people out there playing the same game as you, and it's not like you trying to get in a lobby because there's eight other people in the whole world playing. Yeah. Um. Is it though? Is it like Minecraft men running around in care package Ferris wheels and like slow lobbies and like all that kind of bullshit again? Black Ops 2? Yeah. Yeah, Black Ops 2 was pretty bad for a lot of and shit. It, it, every uh, lobby no. was modded. Like, every yeah. lobby. No. They, the reason... What they did when they fixed the servers is they made them hack-free. Except for PC, where they could get all your info just by uh, right. logging on. Yeah, well, I mean, they didn't change the servers for PC, only Xbox. Whack. I wish they would change the server for PC. My nuts. But the yeah, thing I, is those old, I refuse those, to play with a controller. <laughs> The problem is, is like if they did, like a lot of those old games, they didn't have like mouse and keyboard support. No. So. No. I mean, well, on. And they're not PC gonna go in and like redesign the game. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah, PC. They always had mouse and keyboard support. Yeah, I forgot that you could play the old CODs on PC. Yeah, you could play. I think all of them. I don't think there was any COD you couldn't play on PC, other than yeah, like remember, the weird like DS exclusives and shit. Actually, even that yeah. you could play on an emulator. Yeah, those, like, random ones that Sudo plays in those videos? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. It's, to me, it's super fun, though. I've been enjoying it. That's fair. I, hey, man, I'm just glad you're enjoying a game. I'm not. Play something better. You're pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, anyone got anything else we want to talk about? Use code GOONS. 10% gamer subs My off. Gamer stink. subs. Grandpa's ashes. Uh, is that a no? My nuts stink. Goon okay. percent, goon percent. Do you want to do you want to dive into your sweaty little nuts, or do you want to? I haven't showered. 
Uh, okay, well, we can... And I, well, I, I just wipe, feel like you're a stinky little fellow. I, wipe, I actually don't smell or sweat that much at all. Like, Really? Are you no. Korean? Uh, body odor. What if I was Asian as shit this whole time? Would you that change be. your opinion? I mean, I, I had mean, no idea quite was Asian. Seen, we've seen your face. Like, why was this a white dude? Yeah. No. How do you know that wasn't a AI do? You don't know. Because I because you knocked your camera off. Because it was like five minutes ago. <laughs> and, you, and you knocked your camera <laughs> off your desk and I saw Satan do. First oh, yeah. Well, first shit. Just, it was just, your eyes were blotted out and just <laughs> evil. Well, damn yeah. it. I wanted yeah. people to think I was Korean and odorless. No, you're, you're not Korean, buddy. We know. That's okay. Yeah, I got nothing other than my nuts stink, so I'm ready to I'm ready to go fix that problem. Okay. All right. Well, um Oh, who does the outro without soup? Oh yeah. All of us at you... the same time? Okay. All right. Uh, All right. Follow follow like on Spotify, Spotify download on YouTube. Use code goons. Grandpa's ashes coming subscribe, soon. Subscribe, 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 subscribe on YouTube. Comment and leave something a line. dumb. Anus, comment anus, something anus. dumb. My mama, my mama, comment, leave a dumb comment. Dumb comment. A what would soup say to mama, comment? Mama, Henry mama. Henry Foot. Henry I'm Dog a, Leg, Henry Horse a, Hoof. Yeah, comment all of that. Henry Henry uh, Foot, Henry Dog Leg, Henry Horse Soup Hoof. Soup salad or parent divorce at Olive Garden, what are you thinking? <laughs> it's your fault okay. they're divorced if you Alright, use code parents. goons on, on <laughs> Gamers Other <laughs> than download on Spotify. <laughs> See you later, bye-bye. <laughs>